It is my pleasure this afternoon to describe you today's flight demonstration by America's newest airlifter, the C-17 Globemaster III. The aircraft that ensures rapid global mobility for America. The pilots for today's demonstration are Major Kent Freeman and Lieutenant Colonel James Cole. Damn, that thing's fast. This crew has a combined total of over 15,000 hours of flying time in various aircraft, including the C-17 Globemaster, the air, uh, mobile, mobility aircraft. Only three crew members are required to fly a C-17. The aircraft's advanced design allows it to accomplish its entire mission with this minimum crew. In case you're curious, the size of the C-17, the wingspan, tip to tip, is only half the length of a football field. The tail is over five stories tall. Empty, the C-17 weighs approximately 280,000 pounds. With a maximum cargo and fuel loaded, the gross weight rises to well over a half million pounds. Notice the upturned wingtips or winglets. This feature decreases aerodynamic drag and increases fuel economy. To give you a better idea of the aircraft's overall size, the winglets are nine feet tall. The aircraft is extremely agile at both high and low speeds, making, making it easy to operate in any tactical situation, including the aerial delivery of paratroopers, containers, or heavy equipment. As the aircraft passes, please notice the leading, ledge, uh, leading edge slats and large powered wing flaps. These devices literally change the shape of the C-17's wings and are key yeah, to its low huh? final approach speed, enabling the aircraft to land and stop in short distances. The C-17 provides a direct delivery capability that combines the intercontinental, intercontinental car uh, car cargo carrying capabilities of large aircraft such as the C-5 Galaxy with the short runway capability of the smaller C-130 Hercules. It can routinely land on runways only 3,000 feet in length. The aircraft is maneuvering to demonstrate a full flap approach to a simulated short runway. This short field capability allows the aircraft to land at over 6,000 more airfields worldwide that are currently available to the C-5 and commercial wide-bodied aircraft. In fact, during the NATO peacekeeping mission in Bosnia, C-17 air crews airlifted nearly one half the total cargo, a large majority to airfields not accessible by any other aircraft in only one-fourth of the missions, while boasting an impressive 96% reliability rate. simulating the arrival to an airfield with a hostile force nearby. This approach tactic can also be used from very high altitudes to avoid enemy fire.
He will demonstrate the very short landing distance of the C-17. has just demonstrated the capability limits of very few aircraft, the ability to routinely back up under its own power. Ground maneuverability is extremely important when space is limited for offload operations and is often the case in austere locations where the Air Force operates on a day-to-day -day basis. performs a maximum angle climb. representative of those flown by our operational air crews as they provide a highly responsive and flexible airlift capability for America every day. 